Joseph Laura uh, La Roca. Joseph La Roca. He's a rocker, hello? you know, man. A real rocker. Yeah. Uh, yes. How, oh wait, I gotta turn my monitor on there. Hey, how's it going? Good. Uh Good. all right. Uh what do you think the uh Beatles would have been like had they I know this is like whatever, had they been on Saturday Night Live? Like I know because like would they obviously would have done sketches or would it have been like have you ever seen Frank Zappa on Saturday Night Live and he's like so. no. he's like giving up on skits halfway through and being like oh you want me to say those you know he's just oh, like yeah yeah deconstructing it and I I just I would have been so fascinating to see the Beatles like intersect well one of my such another sorry go ahead yeah I mean they do they are they do sort of. Um, lose whatever kind of like a, a little bit of their wit and charm that they had in this first couple years uh once in the 70s there's a clip one of my fa this is one of my favorite clips it's so uncomfortable <laughs> is john and paul simon at the grammys introducing some like the best record or something like that and they have this it's like a written out comedy skit that somebody's written and and it is a mess and there's this all this oh i thought you i thought uh i thought i was going to be here with the other poll you know it's like all this kind of weird in stuff and then that's kind of what i want to see though really you know, bad I think that... digs at, at art garfunkel because art garfunkel comes up have i ever shown this to you eric no it's the best because the best part about it is that art garfunkel who's a real humorless guy like from everything i've seen the guy is so serious and such a bummer he's just like oh like he he you just have to watch it but my memory is they do these really bad jokes about like paul and who's paul and who's getting back together and where's ringo and all this stuff and then and then art comes up and paul and art had broken up and and Art comes up to read the nominees for like best single. And it's like Donna Summer and all these like 70s pop stars. And he starts and, and Art says, and now the best, the award for the best vocal goes to. And John goes, so serious. <laughs> like so serious. <laughs> and Art goes, it is serious. <laughs> <laughs> it is serious. <laughs> And it's it's the best. It's off mic, but you hear it, right? You gotta post that. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> I want to see. Yeah, that. You, the whole thing is just. And but you, I guess uh, John just is not comfortable. He doesn't feel very comfortable in front of the camera. He doesn't feel comfortable reading other people's lines. Yeah, um, yeah. Those anyway. guys are so fun. They're very funny. Like they're very witty people mm -hmm. in conversation. Yeah. But I, I get the feeling that like when they're trying to do comedy, it wouldn't be. I don't yeah. know if it would be as good. Well, one of the weirdest oddities, I didn't see it on the mother load yet, but there's that weird Shakespeare play that they do. That Have you ever seen that? Where they're like no. literally in like, you know, the satin. It's like from the Beatlemania heyday where they're like doing weird, this weird Shakespeare play on TV in, in like, you know, uh, Renaissance <laughs> fair costumes. It's so <laughs> fucking weird. It's got to be on that mother load. Anyways, we are just... We are just talking about whatever we want. It's, it, we're completely off subject. I don't know if there ever was one. Let's do. Let you, uh, do you, okay, go ahead. Sorry, go you ahead, wanted, Joseph. Go ahead, Joe. No, I well, because I have kind of an immature question, but I was thinking about it a lot today. Do you, how often do you think about the Beatles' genitals? And because um, <laughs> I saw there was like this visual guide to the Beatles, and it like has all these iconographs, and I was like, who, who, who's who's the biggest member of the Beatles? Because uh, we really only have data on John, right? John, you know? like John, who's cut? Right. John yeah. did some nudes. I, had I a, did some research. It's kind, it's kind of impossible not to not I to have this, thought about that at least once. Right, exactly. I had this. My guess is that yeah, I had this ahead, disgusting sorry. thought this morning, Eric. <laughs> that was um, you know that 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 sh photo shoot shortly before John died. That's him and Yoko in bed, and it's mm -hmm. it was like Annie Leibovitz, and there there's I don't I don't know if there's video of it, but it's it's them getting undressed. And getting into and being naked together and making love it for this photo shoot and I I, I kind of assumed that it was it was just staged you know that it was just them like posing different in different positions but 
was there some was there a climax in that was there <laughs> Was there? So, so did they make? I guess like your answer, porno? your answer to his question is yes. You ha- you have been thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> just, I just Thank was you, laughing. Thank about, you I wasn't so really much. curious. I was just gonna like kind of tweet about it or something. Like, I wonder if John, <laughs> if John Lennon um, ejaculated during this photo session, and if there was a cleanup and like what was going on with that. It's very <laughs> gross. Fun to think about. There is a nude picture. Someone posted nude pictures of Paul McCartney, but it's not genitalia, right? It's just like you can see him in the bath. Yeah, that, that's yeah. There's not enough data. I think there's a Ringo data, nude. Tim. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, is there a Ringo nude? This is like your uh, the other day. Aaron's wish. I mean, they literally <laughs> just searched <laughs> Ringo nude. <laughs> I got nothing. Well, nothing. There, there was a nothing day. There not was too a, late. There was a day when <laughs> Greg and I were texting Mark all these nude pictures of John Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> zooming in and you know <laughs> very very close close images of his um uncircumcised penis um all right let's move things along this is not the kind of show we, we do not love. like this this is this is a peace and love show this is not an x-rated show it's for families 